Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. Today's day number 158 after having gastric bypass surgery. And I wanted to talk to you guys about something a little odd. I guess you could find it odd, but it's a real thing when you're overweight, obese, really, really pregnant, you know, we all go through it. Um, you don't really know exactly how it feels and what you go through unless you're in our position. And I just kind of want to talk about it. So here it is. If you go somewhere like a restaurant or you have to go somewhere where you're in certain seats, the first thing you end up thinking to yourself is, am I going to fit? Am I going to fit in that booth? Am I going to have to like sit on the edge and have my legs hanging out a little bit or have my side hanging out so I can kind of fit somehow? Am I going to have to sit on like the end part of the table in a different chair instead of the booth because of how big I am? Or, like, if you happen to go to, like, I don't know, a school play or something, and you're sitting in them tiny little chairs, tiny little wood chairs that are, like, feels like they're only, like, this big, and then you think, oh, no, I'm probably gonna have to, like, sit on the edge of the whole row and, like, stick half of my leg, like, put my leg over the side of it or, like, move it to where I can semi-fit and maybe, like, slant my side so I can kind of lay sideways or sit sideways in this chair to fit, something like that. Or even if it's just a regular chair and you think, like, you kind of feel it with your hand and you think to yourself, is this going to hold me up or am I going to split it all four ways and I'm going to fall and bust my tail and everybody's going to be laughing at me and I'm going to run away and probably never come back. It's something that happens to us when you're really overweight or you're just pregnant and you don't fit. It happens too. Um, so yesterday, my husband and I went out because I had a really good test score. I scored the gold score and it's a really important test and we went out to celebrate something I noticed is that when I got in that booth I just slid right in and there was actually space like oh my gosh like here's the table and here's me and it's like oh my gosh there's space here this is incredible wow I've never had this before because like if you're lucky enough to even fit in there you're like all in the table and like if you have boobs like they're like all in the table where your plate should be. So your plate is like in the middle of the freaking table or something or close to the middle. Because your boobs are taking up the first part where your plate should be. Or else you're going to have your shirt all in your food. And it's embarrassing. You know, or like you're suffocating. Or you have to like move the table back and everything spills over. And it's just a hot mess. It really is. It's something that people with weight problems or if you're pregnant, like really, really pregnant... It's what we go through. It's something that it's very embarrassing. It's humiliating. You know, it makes you not even want to go out half the time. You know, because you just think, oh my gosh, you know, I have to wait for everybody else to get in the booth. I have to wait and possibly be the one that has to sit on the edge part or the other part of the table in a regular chair because I just don't fit. I went through that so much starting at like my junior year of high school. That's like the first time that happened and I was so embarrassed. I was so humiliated and the people that I was with knew that I felt that way. You could just see it all over my face. It's very embarrassing. So like if you're out with someone and they're really, you know, overweight, obese, or they're pregnant, like don't make it more obvious. Don't, don't make it harder for them because they already know that they feel gross, I guess, and embarrassed because they can't fit. So the last thing you want to do is just say, hey, um, what are you going to do? Because that's, that's just completely embarrassing. There was one time I went with some friends, or I thought they were my friends. We went out somewhere. I can't even remember where it was. And I didn't fit. I had to get another chair and sit on, like, another part of the table, like, kind of away from them because I just didn't fit in the booth. That right there is embarrassing enough. It was embarrassing because I couldn't fit, so I had to get out, and I kind of almost got stuck, so I had to, like, have the table, like, really move back, um, kind of, like, in a way, it wasn't supposed to move, but I kind of managed to do it anyways, and I already felt really bad about it, it was really embarrassing, and then we were there, and somebody was like, hey, how you doing over there, and it, it just made it more obvious, don't do that to people, that's something that will make people not want to try, not even want to try to go out and have fun. It'll make them stay at home, be a hermit. It's just stuff like that. And in a way, it's kind of bullying because they knew what that person knew what he was doing. It's really embarrassing. Don't do that to people. Instead, you should, you know, encourage people. 
you need to encourage them and not just say, hey, you need to lose weight. Let's go to the gym. No, you just say things like, hey, you know, I'm really concerned because, you know, I know having weight issues can be a problem. It causes this, this, this. It can make you feel this, this, this. You can miss out on opportunities. You miss out on chances and you only get to live once today. So I was thinking maybe we could try something so I can help you or something like that. Let's figure out something to help you. I mean, that would that means so much to people who have a weight problem. And, you know, even that, even that can really discourage someone because of how deep in depression, anxiety, stress they are about themselves. But just do what you can to honestly and genuinely help somebody, but don't do it in the form of just being funny, sarcastic, or because you just want to be a prick. Don't do that. That's not cool. Just don't say anything at all. You know, losing weight is not the easiest thing in the world. It's actually really difficult to lose weight. I am, I was never able to stick to a diet long enough to lose weight because you put in so much work. You go to the gym all the time and you really change your diet. You drink nothing but water. Uh, you increase vitamins and things like that. And it just seems like after like two or three months, you get like very little to no results. You know, I've been there many, many times. And that's why it never lasted for so long. Because you think to yourself, why am I putting in all this work and I get that much of it back? Why? Why? What's the point? You know, and then there were some times where I thought to myself, well, I've been this way so long. Why change now? Why? You know, it's not like I'm going to end up getting friends anyways. It's not like um, somebody's going to come into my life and propose to me or something like that. So in a way, I kind of just didn't even care anymore, which is worse. That's bad. And some people get like that. You know, and some people who go through experiences like I did, not fitting in a booth, sink even lower you know it's something that you deal with one of the things you deal with when you are overweight or have a really big stomach or whatever is going to a restaurant or going somewhere where you have to sit in a tiny chair or somewhere where you're not going to fit and then everybody around you know it and then they think to themselves man are you so fat that you can't even fit in that chair are you so big that you can't even sit in this booth and you got to pull up a chair and sit on the end of the table good lord the person already knows that, and even just making facial expressions is just as the same as just saying it. So keep that in mind when you go out somewhere, you know, that someone who's with you that happens to be overweight or even really, really pregnant, you know, do what you can to make it to where it's not so uncomfortable. Don't be a prick. Don't be a prick because they're already having a bad time as it is knowing that they're probably not going to fit and be the end person at the end of the table looking really awkward and feeling bad about themselves because they know they just couldn't fit with everybody else. That's just something I wanted to share with you guys. So I'll see you guys later. And until then, do what you can to spread kindness, okay? People out here are hurt, okay? Don't hurt them anymore. Bye.